Hi there, Steve here. Um, today I want to talk about, you know, two things really. One, I am going to announce my upcoming trip to Latin America, just in case uh, some of you are going to be there. So for the month of October, I'm going to be the first essentially 10, 11 days in Argentina, uh, mostly in Buenos Aires, also in Mendoza. Uh, the second uh, 10, 11 days, 10 days, I'm in Brazil, uh, based in Rio, and then two days in Salvador. And then the third day, third, uh, third of the month, I'm in Peru, uh, going to Machu Picchu, and then uh, the last four or five days or so, hanging around Lima. So I, if anybody wants to meet up there, please let me know. And this is kind of, the theme today is how, you know, once we've invested time in a language and reached a certain level, then we may slip, but we have it and we have it there and we can enjoy it. So, for example, in preparation for my trip to Latin America, I'm not going to do anything special to refresh my Spanish or refresh my Portuguese. It'll be what it is when I get there and it'll be better on day two than it is on day one. Spanish is basically a language that I can turn on fairly easily, but I may have to get used to the, the form of Spanish that's spoken in Argentina, we will see. And Brazilian, or at least Portuguese, is a language that I put a little bit of effort into. It was harder than I thought. It wasn't an automatic slam dunk from Spanish. Uh, and I speak a kind of portu portuñol, mixture of Spanish and Portuguese, but I suspect that after the first day or two in Brazil, uh, my Portuguese will improve. And the 10 days that I spend there will very much improve my Portuguese. And then I'm back into Spanish again. But it reminds me that, that the work that I put into these languages, I, you know, I get it back uh, without having to worry about what I can produce, you know, on the spot when sort of challenged to demonstrate my ability in the language. So another example of that is recently, you know, my wife always tries to attract me away from my language learning in the evening after dinner. I'm working on my Arabic. I'm now into political podcasts where I'm looking up every word or every second word, but still I think because I'm getting these podcasts transcribed and I'm working through them on link and saving words and reviewing words and listening again, slowly it's giving me a better and better sense of the language, although of course the amount of vocabulary there is, is, is tremendous that I have to learn, but I've done it for other languages so I just know it's a matter of time. But uh, recently she says, oh Steve, there's this tremendous Spanish movie on. So we watched La Catedral del Mar, uh, which was very, very interesting series about uh, Barcelona and uh, in the third, 14th century and stuff like that. And then no sooner are we off that, then she says, Steve, there's a Russian movie on. So I go up there and they have this, The Road to Calvary, which is Khadzhenya uh, Pamukam or something in, in, in Russian. Uh, but it's about, uh, you know, the First World War and the uh, Civil War in Russia and stuff like that and uh, very well done. And of course, the joy for me in both these situations is that I'm able to understand them. And so that, um, yeah, the work that I put into learning those languages gives me now the ability to understand and to enjoy those languages. So we, we learn these languages, yeah, certainly to communicate, and I will be communicating in these languages when I'm in Latin America in Spanish and Portuguese, or if I were in Russia, you know, and you know, watch the movie and there are scenes in Rostov or in Samara and St. Petersburg, and you say, geez, wouldn't, be, wouldn't it be great to go there and talk to people and stuff. But even if you can't do that, you can enjoy the languages that you have put great effort into learning, you can enjoy them by watching TV series, by watching movies, by reading books, listening to podcasts, as, not, as I'm now, you know, embarking on doing in Arabic, and maybe in a year from now, I'll be able to fully understand political discussions in Arabic, which is certainly not the case right now, and be able to read, you know, Al Jazeera, uh, you know, website articles and end up with a very different perspective on the relationship between the West and the Arab world. Uh, so I just wanted to announce then my trip to Latin America and just reaffirm that, uh, you know, there are many sort of reasons for wanting to learn languages and dis discover different people, different culture, different histories. And uh, just communicating with people at some very basic level is not 
everyone's goal, although that's perhaps a valid goal if you're traveling somewhere as a tourist, but that uh, every effort that we put into these languages gives us a greater understanding of and ability to access other cultures. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.